Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast or giving you part two of a shoutcast between Shark and Hasu here in the Zelnaga Caverns. Now we have this drop happening in the back of the base. This Marauder very low on hit points, now going after that Templar Archives, will not be able to shoot it down. Down goes that Medivac, and now there should be enough hit points on that Templar Archives to save it. Will it be able to? Templar Archives down to 63 hit points and, and will be saved. Back over here, Marauder is now once again engaging, and one goes splat Marauder there off of a Psy Storm feedback onto those medevacs and now you can see because of those feedbacks onto the medevacs the marauders are not being able to use stim as sparingly stalkers however do not have blink and that archon and um, however does move a little bit faster than those marauders without that stim pack so will it be enough as hasu is now starting to gain i'm um, trying to come back a decent sized army now but really i'm um, shark able to mine out even further and now the income just fight over here immortals kind trying to come in and more size storm and size storm needs to happen down here on the bottom right hand side another size storm are we going to get one more size storm would absolutely be critical towards that red army however no the Meta metavax now getting taken out over here stalkers trying to push back moving that archon with it so beautifully done i don't know if that's on purpose or not but able to save that archon there but and now these marauders trying to continue to chase and very very low on hit points some of them and this archon down to very low and another size storm hitting off some of those units so wow very nicely done however now some long distance mining happening as hasu had lost this expansion over here in this earlier engagement with those marauders marauders dealing so much damage towards those towards those nexuses back over here we do have and what 16 marauders now being healed up along with a couple marines these marauders are upgraded to one so that is a significant upgrade over the unupgraded units of hasu so hasu definitely gonna be behind and that's why every single time there, there seems to be about an even army fight hasu is on the losing end of that and basically one weapon upgrade on a marauder effectively gives it a 10 percent boost so the army of of shark is always consistently about 10 percent to now 20 percent stronger so uh, taking a look at this we have a th what 4,000 so this could be considered a 4,800 mineral army compared to a 1450 and that's it, and before you even include the armor upgrades now we ha do have a scanner sweep we do have some high templars coming in are we going to get a size storm and really depends on if that size storm hits well enough and now another size storm coming in and a lot of those marauders are very low on hit points finally going to get taken down but i don't think it's going to be enough as hasu only has this last archon there as this nexus gets taken down and that's going to be very bad we do have another of high templar come in a lot of these marauders now taking a lot of that damage and are we going to get more size storm 3400 mineral army no feedback coming in there and i believe we have enough for one more size storm no we do not the one that had 75 energy was taken down as these marines and marauders now just stimming and just pushing in so mouse hasu says well played and that's as equivalent to a gg so here in the Zelnaga Caverns, Shark doing a really good job opening up for, with a Rax into a, a double Rax build, one with a reactor, and researching stim packs very early on, knowing that that early army of Marines and Marauders would be able to hold off anything that was um, semi pushed out. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Hasu didn't try to go for a Stargate with some with some Void Rays, but I'm not sure if the Void Rays would have been all that successful either. Shark had a good combination of Marines and Marauders throughout the whole entire fight. Towards the end, though, you can you can see that his army really consisted of mostly Marauders. So perhaps that Void Ray would have been able to do something. Now, one of the things that I like about this map is the amount of destructible rocks here. There are destructible rocks here and here, and that's one of the reasons why I think Void Rays and um, Void Rays once they're discovered on this map would be very very powerful. Now, um, continuing back to this whole entire fight, um, there was a long just a middle portion of the game where both players decided to just try to macro up but shark running off of um, a total of six barracks and also i'm um, using this engineering bay getting two two upgraded marines and marauders just able to steamroll hasu hasu taking a look at his production five gateways with one robotics facility unable to keep up and not even bothering with a weapons upgrade you see the double forge but I did not. I do not believe I saw one cannon or one upgrade research the whole entire time. So that was an, that was a waste of about 300 waste of 300 minerals. And I think those weapon upgrades would have definitely made a difference in this fight. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Shark and Hasu here in the Zelnaga Caverns.